Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday. It's March 3rd. It's the Ripped Bodice's three-year anniversary today. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Good job to them, I guess. Fun fact. No, we went that's th awesome. They're the only romance-specific bookstore in America, and they've been open for three years, and they're awesome and great, and I love them, so. Go watch our vlog about them. <laughs> yeah. But Giselle is working on some stuff here that she's been working on for a little while. Well, our, our, our apartment's kind of torn apart right now for a few different reasons. I don't know. I just... <laughs> There's a lot going on. So I've been doing all my Disney bounds, which we haven't been filming. Honestly, we should have been. Whoops. Because I'm can, sure... We can film some more. But we are using the camera for taking pictures, so... I know, but we still could have, like, filmed and then, like, oh, this is what's going on. I plan on setting up the rest of my outfits today and then maybe taking two or three today. But then also setting up the rest of my outfits today for, like, the week. Uh, for the week. For all the rest of the Disney bounds that I have left. So I'm doing a March Disney bound challenge, which is, like, a different Disney bound every day. And I'm posting them on my Instagram. And there's, like, a different prompt for every day. So, like, the first day's prompt was, uh, Tangled. The second day's prompt was, uh, Pixar. And then today's prompt is Winnie the Pooh. And so then I was different characters from those correlating things. We've been pre-taking pictures. This whole past week we took pictures like almost every night. Yeah. But I need to take a picture, at least one picture today for tomorrow because I don't have it done yet. What is it? Uh, Judy Hops. Oh, okay. So that'll be, that'll be easy. She's very simple and minimal. Like I don't have to like put on like a ton of, ton of glam makeup or anything because she I don't think she'd wear makeup. I just want to cover this pimple because it's huge and I don't like it. So I kind of tore the apartment apart by doing that and setting up Disney bounds and thinking about everything and whatever. And so since everything's torn apart anyway, I decided that I would like reorganize like all my random like papers and stuff. And also I've been organizing them onto this, which we just bought and it's like a craft cart. So I have like my like papers up here and then I have like my different like journals and uh, like planners and stuff. And then I have some books that I want to read very soon. I figured I could try to keep this middle shelf free to just kind of keep my books there. I think Chris will appreciate this a lot because normally when I am planning on reading books, I just like stack them on the floor in the living room <laughs> or on the table and then on this bottom part i have like tbr jars and stuff and i may put other stuff down here as well so yeah anyway that's what i've been doing and there's also just like a lot of other general stuff that i still need to organize and figure out what i want going on here and how i want to organize and sort stuff and i've been trying to throw stuff away i'm just such a hoarder <laughs> and i don't want to be a hoarder Unless where it comes to books, then I'm okay with being a hoarder. But I literally, then, I literally just saw a picture on Twitter that said it's not hoarding if it's books, and I agree with that. <laughs> I mean, it is if they're not books that, that you've yeah, that we've read or that you yeah. have intention to read or whatever. But again, like I'm also trying to be more selective and make sure that I'm clearing out books that I don't that I didn't enjoy when I read them and stuff like that as well. Try not to hang on to books. Be like, oh well, this is. I need to hang on to this because of this and it's like no you don't need to hang on to it if you need to justify it you don't need to hang on to it or at least i don't you can do whatever you want i don't care nobody should tell you how to book <laughs> so <laughs> book people gonna book <laughs> yeah. um, however they feel like it <laughs> so anyway that's that's what i'm working on currently and i'm kind of at like a stopping point where like I'm not 100% sure how to proceed from this so I'm how to proceed from this <laughs> to like make it condensed and yeah. organized and what exactly I want on here and all this stuff so let's also update on my book blanket since we're right here so this is my little yarn basket which I talked about if you missed the vlog where I introduced this Christopher just linked it because he's magical. And I'm basically crocheting <laughs> hexagons. This is not all the ones that I've done so far. So far, oh gosh, I don't know where I put them. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I put them in that bag. Here, let me grab them. 
this is only some of what I've done. These are my back of yarns that I've bought recently. The colors that I was using the most, I've just bought backups of. And I have 50, these are groups of 10, 50 hexagons done so far. And then these were everything that I needed to catch up on. So here's two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, seven. Ah, so I have 67 hexagons done so far. And I still have to do nine, ten technically, because I just finished another book. Ten more books to catch up. Which means you've read how much this year so far? <sighs> I guess 77? But it's only March 3rd. <laughs> but that's not all. I think I'm currently at 60 novels. 60 novels and then the 17 things were like short work. Well, okay. How I'm distinguishing between like what is going in the novel section, what's going in like the other section, like the short work section, it's pretty much like specifically short books, like short stories, I guess I would say, short stories or graphic works. So something like a novella, I would still count or like a poetry collection or whatever, I'm still counting is my like general novel. So like I read a couple Winnie the Pooh collections of like the when we were six and now, or when, when we were very young and now we were six. I read those earlier this year. I'm counting them in the novel section. And it's pretty much all like graphic novels or what's graphic novels or manga or what it, or in my like short works section. Except for, I think if I read like a short story that was like itty bitty and like 15 pages long or whatever I would also put that over there because like it feels kind of weird to be like oh I read a whole book which is a short story anyway so that's how I think I'm distinguishing it and right now I'm I've crocheted all my novels and I just need to crochet the rest of my short works and then I'm going to take a picture and post it of them all laid out Christopher Christopher will insert that right here as well uh because I posted it on my twitter and like the bigger pile I think is how I'm going to split it up the bigger pile is going to be like all the novels and then the other little pile is going to be short works and I think it's going to be huge so far and I'm really excited and it's been making me very happy and motivated. I definitely took a break on it to work on Disney Bounds and now I'm like really behind but then I will catch up and then I will hopefully not get too much behind again in the future so anyway. Also I've decided at this point too that I'm going to switch a couple of my colors around so even though I'll be caught up I think I'm going to change how I have some of the colors set up because I've been reading a lot more low fantasy compared to my high fantasy and I really like my high fantasy color a lot more so instead of reading more high fantasy I'm just going to cheat and make the high fantasy color the low fantasy color so I'm going to do that but I'm going to wait until after this update and like being caught up at the end of February well now it's going to be like probably the 5th of March by the time I'm caught up but I think I'm gonna do that because that green color is just so pretty so anyway that's what I'm doing um other fun random thing I find some very interesting gems when going through this stuff like this Whoppers box right here is completely full of like TBR jar picks and stuff that I'm throwing away that are like no longer relevant that I've used that I drew it and I read the book and they're used but this is like my original OG TBR from like 2013 when I made all these actually it might have been 2014 it was when I was very first on booktube and most of the books in here I'm like I literally have no idea what you are and I do not care about you at all or I have no interest in reading or if I do read it it will be like in a million years because it's not the top of the priority at all like the perks of being the wallflower is the one i just opened i'm not going to prioritize reading that or wheel of time like the eighth book in the wheel of time series i don't know and i put like all the books in here too not just like the first books in series winger by andrew smith i don't care about that book anymore but like booktube was really obsessed with it in 2014 so <laughs> it went in here scott westerfield extras i didn't I've only read Uglies. I don't think I'll ever continue on with that series. Oh, this is one I still care about. I still haven't read it, of course. A Tale of Two Castles by Gail Carson Levine. Again, never read that one. I really should because I really love Gail Carson Levine. There's just such random books in here. Gravelight by Marion Zimmer Bradley. I don't know if I'll ever read anything by Marion Zimmer Bradley because, besides The Miss of Avalon because that book is supposed to be phenomenal, but she's kind of a scummy person or was kind of a scummy person. Reboot by Amy Tintero. I don't care. 
about <laughs> all of these at all, but I figured I would like show them off a little bit before they're in this little book box that is Pride and Prejudice and A Tale of Two Cities. I think I'm gonna throw all of these away and then use this to store other things that actually make me happy. This this kind of just like depresses me, especially since I hand wrote them all. I'm like, what a waste of time. I probably listened to an audiobook though, so is it really? Well, real quick, something I wanted to mention. Uh, I don't know if anyone ever noticed, but back when we went to Disneyland, not not quite a year ago, but almost a year ago now, back in May, I bought this shirt at the uh, outlet store that we went to, the Disney outlet store that we went to, and I, when I bought it, I was like, I'm going to wear this tomorrow at Disneyland, and then I just never talked about it ever again. That's because I went back to, we went back to Giselle's parents' house, and I tried it on, and it looked awful. It's a double XL, and that's what I was wearing at the time, but it did not fit, even a little bit. I looked gigantic in it. Uh, it's just like the type of fabric it is and like the way the fit of the shirt, it just doesn't, didn't suit me. And now, however many months later, I finally tried it on for the first time since I bought it. I took the tags off yesterday. It finally fits. It's one of these spirit jerseys. I love the spirit jerseys a lot. That's right. the reason I bought it. Uh, it was super, super on sale, so it's like not that deal, big of a deal that I haven't worn it, but now I can wear it, and it fits, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I don't remember how much I weighed back then, probably like 270-ish or something like that. I am getting really, really close to 200 now. I am right, I keep, I'm kind of fluctuating right now in between 205 and 210. Uh, and it's, it's kind of like a steady fluctuation, like over time, obviously, it's like a, it's not like a straight down graph, it's like a, oh, it slowly kind of goes up and down, up and down until it gets, gets more and more down. I was very stalled there at the beginning of this year. I've only lost like 10 pounds so far this year, which it doesn't seem like very much when I lost like almost 60 in between starting keto and the end of the year uh, this past year in 2018. But I'm getting down to my goal, which makes me really happy. Uh, my goal was to hit 200 and then by the time I hit 200, I can, I'll, I'll feel comfortable getting myself off of keto and going back to the gym to do weightlifting a lot and hopefully uh, being able to eat more, introduce food back to, uh, introduce regular food back to myself more and eat more, do some weightlifting and hopefully gain some muscle over this year and keep the fat down. And yeah, that's, that's my main goal is to try to build up muscle this year. But, something I've been trying to do, something we've both been trying to do, is wake up early. Hopefully this week we can do a good job of that. This past week I did a good job of waking up early, but the reason I've been wanting to wake up early is to get used to going to the gym, which I have not done very much. I do it, like, once every, like, four or five days. Uh, <laughs> mostly because I've come to realize just how much I hate winter. I severely dislike going out in the mornings when it's so cold and snowy. It literally just snowed yesterday, all day. And yesterday and today, I didn't feel like going to the gym because I'm like, who wants to go out in that? Who wants to go out in there and clean the car, drive in the snow, be super cold on the way to the gym, even though it's only like a five minute drive. I don't know, I have to get myself in a different mindset. I've been trying to at least get myself up. I, I, it, it doesn't help that I'm going to do cardio right now. I don't really like doing cardio at all. I like weightlifting a lot better. So I think hopefully getting myself used to waking up really early like I have been because this past week I did wake up almost every day as early as I wanted to. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna try to keep up that, keep that up and apply that to when I am done with keto. I'm done with intermittent fasting, which I'm also doing right now. I, I only eat from like noon to eight. I don't eat I, and I fast for the rest of the time. Uh, it's not very, I guess I could do weightlifting now, but I, it would be, wouldn't be very conducive to that because if I weightlift in the morning, then I wouldn't be eating afterwards, which would be really bad for me, really bad for my muscles. My muscles wouldn't get what they need immediately after working out uh, because I don't eat until noon. But uh, yeah, so once keto is over, once trying to lose fat is over, once I get down to 200, I think that'll coincide really nicely with me also being done with my Kingdom Hearts streams which will allow me to free up time to 
sleep a little bit more, to get up early every day, to go to the gym and do weightlifting, to eat more, hopefully eat still healthy, very healthy, and try to uh, keep working towards what I've been, what I started when I started doing keto. Uh, this was the plan all along since I started keto, and I'm really glad that it's worked out so well. It's worked out very, very well, and I'm very, very happy about it. And I just wanted to, this is the evidence that this, this shirt actually fits me now, when it didn't a few months ago. Also, I wanted to show real quick, this is Giselle's, like, planning for her Disney bounds for March. She's written like all of them on note cards and they've been like spread around the apartment but these are the last ones that we need to take pictures for for March. Other than that we're we'll, after this we'll be done and she'll have all of her Disney bound pictures taken. It's the next day. It snowed a lot last night. I guess I don't know our our landlord has a snow blower thing. Yeah. So he he did all this. Uh, I guess he must have cleaned off the side of the car too. But this this whole top of the car has so much snow on it. Neither of I mean Giselle got half a day. I didn't get half a day technically, but we're going in a little bit late. But everyone else in the studio is also going in late, according to my email when oh, I checked I wish it this I morning. I have caught that. Do it again. There's plenty of <laughs> snowfall to see. This is the most snow we've gotten so far this year. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> yes. Now I'll grab one and help too. <laughs> So today is such a weird day. I was at work and I was working and then Chris texts me and says, oh, just kidding, like I get to leave early. I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I don't have the car, because I have it, because I dropped him off at work today because the snow going in late and all that stuff. And so I came and gave him the car. We're driving back to my work right now to drop me off so I can work for two and a half more hours before I go home. So Chris can go home for two and a half hours. But that's better than just like sitting there and now just at work. My desk, yeah. And it's not like you brought a book with you or anything. Uh, and I don't know, like she can go home and like do something on the computer or read a book or like at least be somewhat productive or at least relax and not just have to like sit up at work for two and a half hours waiting for me to be done with work. And more than that, uh, don't come get me till 5.20. Okay. Because I'm closing on register at five, so then I have to count my drawer and everything, so. Okay. Anyway, now I gotta go back to work. Yay! How were your, how long were you at work for? Like four hours? Four, four hours, four or five hours. Four hours, yeah. How were your four hours of work, darling? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Not a total waste of time at all. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> it is now the following Sunday from the clip you just saw. And that was a really weird start to the week. It's been a really weird week. Uh, Monday, as we said, I went to work late. Giselle dropped me off. Then she went to work. And then she came back and came, got me. And I went home, hung out for a couple hours, went back and got her. And then we came home and that kind of just like that day specifically felt like three days put into one. Uh, and then the week just kind of dragged on from there. But then uh, something happened during one of my streams uh, this this uh, past Wednesday. Um, one of my Kingdom Hearts streams on Twitch. Our friends, uh, well, Giselle has been good friends uh, for a little bit now with uh, Judith. Uh, a girl named Judith. You might have seen her around on either her Giselle's live streams or uh, in comments of these videos. So her and her significant other, Morgan, uh, well, he was in my live stream hanging out and talking to us. Uh, Giselle was there about the fact that they 
had the weekend off this upcoming weekend, not this weekend now, obviously, but next weekend. And they are planning on more than, more than just a weekend. Though. Yeah, a like, little bit more than a weekend. Four-day weekend. Morgan is um, currently switching jobs, and so he had like a week off in between, and so then Judith ended up taking time off, and they were going to go spend some time with some friends, and they ended up falling through. Gotcha. But they still had this time off. They were like, oh, we should go to the book barn, slash... But they're in North Carolina, so they're going to come up here from... North Carolina to go to the book barn and also to hang out with us. They're going to be spending the weekend with us here. Here you can kind of see, here's a couple clips of that coming to fruition in my live stream. Better. We're only an hour away from the book barn. <laughs> I would definitely, uh, that would be really fun. Let's do that. We do not have a spare bedroom, but we do have a couch and a pretty big living room that can accommodate people who like to sleep on the floor. <laughs> um, we could always get an air mattress. I mean, we should probably own an air mattress anyway, just in case other people come and like hang out with us or like come visit us and want to sleep somewhere. You have a blow up bed. So if you bought a blow up bed, then you could sleep in our living room. Yeah, I'd be cool with all this. This sounds cool. Whenever you guys want to do it. Yes, please clean the apartment. If there are people are coming over, <laughs> definitely please clean the apartment. <laughs> so they're going to be here. They're going to leave Wednesday night and drive overnight to leave Giselle spraying her hair because she's about to curl it. Uh, spraying her hair with like heat to protect and stuff. Anyway, we uh, they're gonna be here Wednesday morning. I mean Thursday morning after driving all day all night uh, from the previous day and We're gonna go to work. They're gonna come here and sleep. I guess they're bringing an air mattress They're gonna sleep in our living room on their air mattress and they're gonna Hang out here and sleep while we're at work for th on Thursday, but Giselle and I both got off on Friday so we're going to do some fun stuff this weekend. We took off Friday so that we could go. We're all going to go to the book barn. Uh, probably on Friday, right? That's the plan. We're going to, it's probably going to be end up being just like a cheat weekend for me. We're, we're actually, this weekend is St. Patrick's Day. So we are going to do like St. Patrick's Day dinner. We usually do that. Uh, we've been doing it for a few years now. Um, making like corned beef and cabbage and soda bread and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're gonna make that while they're here on Saturday instead probably and then one day we're probably gonna make tikka masala for them a big double batch of tikka masala none of that stuff is well it, the whole the whole weekend's probably gonna be a cheat weekend for me which should be fun uh, we are gonna go to the book barn again we were just there we're hopefully not gonna go too crazy fingers crossed we're hopefully not gonna go too crazy stop saying that because you know you saying that is gonna make it so I think saying it means that it's not, it's, we're going to go know. in knowing that we're not supposed to go crazy. If we, if we go in just going, oh, what happens, what happens, then I'm sure we're not going to find anything. But going in and saying, oh, we're not going to go crazy, we're not going to buy too much, you know, you know we gonna. I hope not. <laughs> we are going to do our best to, uh, be conservative, be conservative with our, because we're not going to, we don't have any books to give them for like store credit this time around, so. We have a couple, but. Nothing significant yeah. to give us store credit like we'll get really, like five dollars so we can each buy one book <laughs> But uh, it'll be their first time in the book barn. Judith's really excited for it. Uh, Morgan doesn't read quite as much But uh, hopefully he'll have fun at our very long day at the book barn probably uh, We are then probably gonna they're gonna bring maybe some like tabletop games Maybe some other games. We'll play video games. Maybe we'll do some stuff. We'll hang out and we'll vlog the whole thing uh I'm going to be taking off from uh, my regular streams on Friday and Saturday. We're just going to hang out and have a fun time uh, with some friends hanging out at our place all this upcoming weekend. So we are doing our best to get this place all picked up. Uh, it's Sunday now. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but it's Sunday now. And uh, we have a few days. We have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday now. But we're going to get this place all picked up. It kind of needs it desperately uh, to be picked up and cleaned up. So... It's suitable for people other than just the two of us, and uh, we're going to have fun doing that. Something else we did this week also is I just got back from seeing Captain Marvel for the third time because I really liked it, but Giselle and I went and saw it together on Thursday, opening night, and what did you think? I loved it. Honestly, just out of like pure enjoyment as far as... MCU 
it's definitely up there in my top maybe three as of just like not necessarily what it adds to the universe because even though it does add a lot it's also not progressing the story it adds to the overall universe but since it's set in the past it's not really like progressing the story yet I'm sure what it added will be really significant for the next movie but like as of right now it's like we don't know what that is where it's like each other like installment either of like specifically Captain America or the Avengers like is progressing so but just out of like pure just like having a great time watching it and loving the characters and being really invested and the story and everything it was so good. I loved it. I adored every second of it and I can't wait to see it again. I love it so much that I will go and see it in theaters again at least once more before Endgame. Yeah, we were thinking, uh, well, I have the AMC Stubbs A-list thing where you can go see two movies a week uh, for 20, to three movies a week, sorry, for 20 bucks a month. Uh, and, you know, that pays for itself if you go see two movies in a month, which is like nothing. And so we'll probably get uh, that for Giselle for April. And she can go see at the beginning, at the very beginning of April, we'll go see Captain Marvel again together. And then at the end, we'll go see Endgame. And maybe she'll want to see Endgame with me more than once too. I Bef probably will. We should probably book two at right, like as soon as we can yeah. book two, like maybe for Thursday night and then maybe again for like Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I want to go. She didn't like. She we, she did give three a chance. I really like three D movies. She didn't really like it, uh, which I mean I understand some people don't like it, but I really like it. I really like three D movies, but I want to go see Endgame in three D uh, at least a couple times. So we'll do our first opening night not three D, and then I'll maybe go see it in three D, and then we'll go see it again together. I'm sure. I'm super pumped. I'm really glad with. I'm really glad with how Captain how Captain Marvel went to. I love what it added to the MCU. Yeah. I love seeing this bit of the story in between, like seeing in the beginnings of Fury, and just. I feel like it was a really smart idea to put him and Captain Marvel together. Uh, it just works really well, and it grounds Captain Marvel in the MCU super nicely. Um, and it just, it gives you some of the familiar, but like the beginnings of the familiar and some of the origin of Captain Marvel at the same time. I think it just works very, very well together. And I loved all the characters. I think every character has a, a lot going for them in their own way. Uh, yeah, I was really happy and seeing it, I saw it again yesterday and I saw it again today. I have just enjoyed it more each time. I mean, obviously we don't, we don't want to get like spoilery about it, although I know at least two of you have already messaged me saying that you've already seen it and that you loved it. <laughs> but I did want to just say, without getting too into spoilers, the one thing that I would change is that I wish that Coulson had had more s screen time, is all that I'm going to say. I would agree with that. I, I wish. <laughs> I want more Coulson. Now what I want is a m movie entirely following Fury and Coulson in the time span between his first appearance in the MCU, and then Captain Marvel, like, in between those two, and his rise as the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think that would be amazing to see, and Coulson, like, backing him up, like, the whole way, basically, and becoming his, like, right-hand person who, like, went out and helped find all the Avengers and whatnot. Anyway, so Giselle right now is getting ready for one of her Disney bounds. We're going to do a couple more uh, today. Trying to get them done before... Judith and Morgan get here. So yeah, we need, to, we need to shoot several before then. Yeah. That's a lot of what the, the house is kind of a mess because there's stuff everywhere still, but... I need to get caught up until, gosh, until I think the Monday after, or the Tuesday after they're going to be here. I just need to have everything shot up to that point so I don't feel, like, behind at all. Yeah. And then we can shoot anything left on, like, that Tuesday and Thursday and stuff, so... I mean, it definitely helps that we've already pre-shot a bunch of it already, mm -hmm. and, uh... We're going to do some more. She's right now working on her necklace that she's going to be wearing as Gaston. So you should look out for her Instagram posts if you haven't seen them already. She's been doing the Disney Bounds all of March. I don't know when you're going to see this exactly, but hopefully before March. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll see it before March is over. This is the, this is the Gaston uh, necklace that she's going to be wearing. She got It was a Christmas ornament 
that she has turned into a necklace and I think it's a, it really is the perfect like thing for Gaston and I'm really excited to see it so you should go look that up on her Instagram yeah. link Basically, below what I was doing just now is I there was like a little loop with stupid little bells hanging off of it for some reason so I snipped that off but it was rough so then I needed to go over it with a file and then there was just like a big glob of like hot glue basically just like clear hot glue so then i filed down the nub and then painted it and then just added some white to make it look aged i don't know <laughs> to make it look authentic and now i'm gaston the embodiment i like it a lot i think that's it pretty much it for this vlog uh we'll catch up with you some more this week uh we'll morgan and judith will be here like we said on thursday morning so Hope you enjoyed the home vlog. Hopefully it wasn't uh, dull, but some people like those. Well, so I feel like we don't do those anymore, but people used to comment when we would just post vlogs of us rambling for half an hour straight at a time and be like, these are my favorites. So. I don't understand that, but <laughs> uh, so I've just been like mostly just vlogging when we go out and do stuff, which is why we had two Steve vlogs in a row and then like book barn vlog right before that and mostly just like us going out and doing stuff but been doing a little bit more i mean the entire second half of the previous vlog before this one was me just talking about the oscars so i guess that also counts anyway this is getting rambly this has gone on for too long probably thank you so much for watching and uh giselle is wearing a really great outfit right now <laughs> it's out of focus at the moment but anyway my my leggings in case you are wondering do say halloween on them and have ghosts I don't care what people say. And then my, my sweater also says Halloween Town on it. It's a very good outfit. It's not October, but it's a very good outfit. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know. <laughs> Stop being judgy. We're, it's the <laughs> thematic always because we live next to a graveyard. So thank you all so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one uh, sometime this week. Goodbye.